Well guys, here we are, day two of ownership of our new C8 Corvette. And I don't really know where I am right now. I'm, I'm just driving the car across America, just trying to head west. And check that out, I've never been to a place quite like this before. This is like straight out of a movie. Look at that swamp, I believe it is over there. Let's zoom in. It's insane. And man, the C8 Corvette looks so cool in front of it. Here we are at 499 miles, one mile away from breaking in the new C8 Corvette. I can't believe it. Here we go, it should unlock the full RPM band for this car still to this moment. I don't know how fast it is. So I got this car yesterday and my number one objective was to break it in. So here we are 500 miles later at just 24 hours of ownership. And come on, any second now, why is this taking so long? Oh, okay. Well, I think we did it. 500 miles, but um, I don't notice a change just, just quite yet. Let's see, oh my gosh, there we go, the red line, 6,500. You know what, I, I really want to test out at zero to 60. I'm told that you shouldn't do it until like 1,500 miles, but I don't think one zero to 60 would hurt this car. At least let's do a full throttle pull, let's pull off the freeway, because like I just mentioned, I don't know how fast this is. All I know is that it feels very comfortable driving and it feels light, it feels like, like a go-kart, and it's really smooth but again i can't wait to feel all the 500 horsepower here we go testing out zero to 60 with the new c8 corvette i'm excited i don't know what to expect let's do this oh my jesus oh my, oh my gosh oh my god this is not even a good road. Oh my gosh. And every time it shifted, I'm just being thrown back into the back of my seat. This feels like an exotic. I swear it's what you're talking about. Mid-engine, the engine's behind you. So it's able to put down that power so well. It's so addicting. The GT500 does not launch that hard. Oh my gosh. This is a base model Corvette and it certainly does not feel like a base model anything. It's that good. What just happened just now? I, I don't even, I can't understand. Scott jumped in the driver's seat and did a, a launch control for his first time ever. And next thing you know, the car is dead hooked. And I'm leaning halfway over trying to film the speedometer. And I get the most crazy whiplash of my entire life. And it's the next morning. Here we are in Interstate 40 in Oklahoma and i just had a crash last night i got so tired because driving this car is so much fun but then once you start driving non-stop for like 24 hours it really does hit you when you're going across country and I, I i had to pass out but waking up again and just seeing this car it looks amazing i haven't really shown you guys properly what it looks like outside and this is what we're dealing with right here everywhere i go people walk up to me and ask me is that a ferrari is that a lamborghini and actually a good portion of people know what a c8 corvette is and they're just they get so excited to see it which is so just shocking and just so crazy thinking about it people they love this car they love the design of it they love the gigantic intakes on the side the interior even seeing that engine compartment way over there in the back and then when i lift this entire compartment up their mouths their jaws just drop that's how excited they get they think this car is so cool and i completely agree with them it is this this thing is special right here but look at this right here we have a cherokee we're at a cherokee trading post right now we have teepees over there and then even over here it shows little buffaloes this entire area out here 
It's so different th than where I come from, California. In California, there's cities everywhere. And <laughs> that's a cool shot, isn't it? <laughs> oh my, look at this car. Can you believe this is a Corvette? It looks and it feels like it can cost so much more than it really does. Even these side intakes, what car has side intakes that serve as a door handle as well? And when people see me open the doors of this car, they don't know what to say. They really don't. Plus the interior with that squircle steering wheel. Yet that's what it's called, everybody. <laughs> Look at that even display. Everything about this car, it feels so special. I am so impressed. But I do want to make this video about testing out 0-60 to 60, uh, launch control with the CA Corvette because a lot of people out there who have this car right now don't exactly know how to um, properly launch it. But once you do know how, this... This car is very easy to get good numbers with. As you saw earlier, 2.9 seconds. I, I never saw that one coming. I just, I was in the passenger seat. Scott was driving for the, for the first time, really. Going full throttle, his first launch control, it dead hooked. Like at 3,000 RPM, dead hook. And, and that whiplash of, of dead hooking on the street was insane, was insane. I did not expect it. It's like the same kind of launch. I think it launched harder than the GT500 did at a motorplex in, in, in Dallas. Anyway, so again, I wanna show you how we got that 2.9 seconds, zero to 60 time, because there are hidden modes in each drive mode, and you wanna work with them in order to turn on launch control and get the best launch possible. So let's take the car out, go on um, some of the roads around here. It's really nice out here, so it, sh it should run pretty good. Okay, I just had to pull off over here. This looks really cool. We are at Red Rock Canyon Adventure Park. We've got the C8 over there, also in red, right? Hopping inside, back into the C8 Corvette. So right away, step one is make sure that you have your acceleration timer turned on on the right portion of your display. It says accelerate to start, just leave that there. As soon as you start accelerating, it'll start timing. Now, in order to uh, turn on launch control and get the best launch possible, make sure that you're in either sport mode or track mode. We were in sport mode, we did our test. In sport and track, it allows you to further customize the drive mode with the performance traction management system. Now, the next step is to hit your traction control button twice. One, two, that unlocks competitive drive mode. And that's basically it. We have launch control turned on, TC turned off, well, traction control turned off. And basically what this means is that in this drive mode, the second we put our foot to the floor with the brake and the gas, the car knows, hey, we're gonna be doing a hard launch, okay? Meaning rev up the car, hold at around 3,000 RPMs, and the second when the driver lets off the brake, optimize the suspension so that when this vehicle launches, the entire tail end uses that weight transfer to grip and put that power down so that the entire vehicle can accelerate as quickly as possible. Now we've got a pretty crazy incline right in front of us, but luckily I did opt for the, the front vehicle lift. Now I'm not sure if it's gonna make it, but it's a pretty good test, I think. Oh my gosh, this is so, so crazy. But it's doing it. I don't think it's scraping at all. And oh my gosh, you have to get front end lift. It's just so easy to use it. It just saves you. Look at this. This car is amazing. Well, would you check this out? So we were just driving the freeway and I pulled off to um, check out Red Rock Canyon uh, Park and randomly I took a wrong turn and I found myself here. Um, we have our own drag strip, guys. Can you believe that? What? What the? Where am I right now? I don't know, but this is a legitimate drag strip. You can see two lanes down there's the burnout box. You've got the um, the bleachers. We both sit and watch, but I don't know. This is just, this is awesome. And you know what? Thinking about teaching you guys how to do the best zero to 60 possible, why don't we do it here at the drag strip? One thing with the CA Corvette that you must uh, keep in mind is that this car can't really do a line lock burnout like your typical front engine rear wheel drive car. 
there's much more to it than that because the LT2 is sitting right here, basically above the rear wheels. So all that extra weight right here makes the car have a hard time spitting those back tires. However, there's a glory side of that. Since the engine is right here in the back, it helps to put down that power when accelerating. So you really don't need to worry about doing a massive burnout with a mid-engine vehicle. Let's go ahead and go to the starting line so I can uh, demonstrate what you gotta do. I'm still in shock right now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just going with it. And this is like one of the weirdest experiences. So last time we got the 500, we ran a 10.6. Now, now we're running two seconds zero to 60s and we're at our own drag strip. Well, here we are at the staging area. We've got our two lanes. I believe this is where the burnout box is, but since we have a mid-engine car, um, we're just gonna ignore that, keep going. We gotta find a good place to um, actually launch. And as you can tell, it seems very slick down here. Maybe if we launched in the middle right here, we would get uh, more grip because we're not riding on all that rubber. Here you go, zero to 60. Foot to the floor, foot to the gas. Oh my gosh. Jesus, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it gripped. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had the wrong gauge on. It wasn't recording the zero to 60. seconds 2.8 seconds zero to 60 2.8 seconds look at that 2.8 we got a 2.8 oh my god yeah the seats are pretty tight huh yeah they definitely didn't build these for big guys <laughs> meet sydney he was uh, just passing through and he saw the ca corvette on this uh open stretch of drag strip he wanted to check it out and next thing you know we're gonna be going for a, a quick zero to 60 and is this your first time in the new mid-engine corvette yes sir yes sir well, what, do you, what do you think of it right away though how does it man the looks on it are <laughs> insane it the interior insane. is it's the build quality is unmatched yeah, i know it feels insane man but even for launching you can sprint right now having that engine behind you it's gonna grip and put down that power so well let's go ahead and stage all right so i think a bit more right about here would be pretty good so right there is our performance timer it does zero to 60 for us put your uh, foot to the floor with the brake and then since there's no clutch now just put your right foot to the floor with the gas and then let off on the brake and then it'll do a launch for us so you ready all right we just a tiny bit like that you can hear the exhaust still here we go What is a base model Corvette, man? Man, that is insane. <laughs> uh, even, even a tiny bit of tire slippage, it's still got a 3.3 seconds zero to 60 with it. You know, and this car is completely full of like camera bags and stuff. There's two people in this car as well. So, you know, for, for, for what it is, again, it has 500 horsepower and man, it just, it puts down the power. So it's so fast, it's so fun. <laughs> this thing hooks better than our 800 horsepower drag car. Really? It's a pretty popular drag strip out here though, right here, or is it more like a... Uh, it's kind of a small, there's a lot of building, or local car builders here, they just kind of build little stuff here I like and there. I you can just drive on it, you know, yeah. there's, no, there's no gates, not closed down right now, it's nope. all stuff going on right Open now. all year round, the yeah. cops never are <laughs> out here, it's real laid back and they That's really awesome. don't care. Wonderful. As long as you're out here, I mean, there's obviously safety measures in place for us. Um, they. They won't mess with you yeah. if you're not doing stupid stuff. Oh, that's cool. Well, you know what? Since we're at the track right now, you want to do one last one? Let's do it. Go the opposite direction. Hopefully, since the ground is less rubber, hopefully it'll grip a tiny bit better. But let's see what happens. Foot to the brake, foot to the gas. <laughs> three, three again. You see how it's repetitive? You do the same exact time over and over and over again? That is nuts. Oh gosh, man, I can't wait to see what the higher performance variants could do, but shoot. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, you're able to go for the ride for us with us, man. Man, I appreciate this, uh, it. I really do. This is brightening well, my it, week it's, up it's a lot. So, it's so awesome seeing what everybody thinks about this car. Yeah. Because I'll go anywhere with this, the gas station, and they go, is that the new CA Corvette or is that a Ferrari? And 
The crazy part is this car starts at $60,000, right? And yeah. it's obtainable. Heading off to a California. We're in Oklahoma right now, right? Yes, we're in a little small town from Hinton, or in Hinton, America, okay. of Oklahoma. <laughs> I really like, I've been just driving nonstop, man. I'm just. <laughs> now, how do I open these doors to get out? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> so there is a tiny button on the side. It's um, kind of chromish. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Let me unlock it for you. And then hit that button. And then you're all good to go, man. That was so much fun. It really was. Giving a local a ride in the new C8 Corvette. He was a major fan of this car. He was so happy. He had such a good time. And that puts a smile on my face, too. Here's the deal. Yes, no one else came out here to the event today. No one showed up to compete against us. However, it was just so much fun showing you guys how to go zero to 60 in less than three seconds with this new C8 Corvette. Plus, overall, for this car to go zero to 60 in the two second range, the conditions are gonna be a major factor, especially your road conditions. And this car made it look so easy. All you have to do is go in your settings, your drive mode, to put on competitive drive mode, and from there, it's a piece of cake. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps help me out. Also, subscribe for much more great CA Corvette content coming your way. I'll see all of you in the next episode. And the winner is gonna be me, I think. Thank you very much, man. That's what I'm talking about right there.